welcome to my channel my name is Natalie and I want to talk to you about my trip to Sweden I went the other week yeah it must be already a week ago and it was insane as you might know if you follow me for a while I used to live in Australia and my best I met my best friend there he is Swedish but he is studying in Australia so he was home on winter holidays which is a bit weird for me because it's summer here but it is winter in Australia whatever he's home in Sweden for this summer and I needed to go and see him I went to see my best friend Andreas in Stockholm and I want to take you all with me so let's get started So I flew up there Monday morning and as you might know I'm kind of homeless at the moment. I did get an apartment so stay tuned for that but I am homeless at the moment and so I was staying at someone so I, I came from really far. So it took me forever to get to the airport but it's really easy to get to Sweden. It's only an hour from Copenhagen airport so that was easy and Andreas picked me up in the airport and I was so glad to see him. So Arlen airport is pretty far out so we needed to drive for like an hour to get into his place. So the plan was to stay at his for one day then go to his parents summer house in the um, near the water for three days and then go back to Stockholm so I was in or oh, for three nights it must have been so I was in Stockholm for five days so when I got there we went into town um, it was beautiful weather when I left Denmark but in Stockholm it was cold and rainy that day we were just still up for coffee and trying to catch up on all the things that we haven't really talked about I do FaceTime with him a lot but it's just another way of expressing yourself in person so that was awesome so then we went to his parents had chat with his family and went to his friend Samuel's place for dinner and I met him the other time I went to see Andreas in Stockholm I think I actually put it up here on my channel just in Danish in the morning we went all three of us to the waters and it was beautiful the weather was great the house there was really bright and airy and it was close to nature and the water so we had swims we saw the sunset we had a lot of beer and wine and we were chatting for hours the boys were watching the football a lot which was a bit boring for me. I really try to watch it, but I keep falling asleep. I don't know why, but I'm not really into sports, um, which is a shame because everyone is. <laughs> but it was so great seeing them. I've been to Sweden many times. I used to live at my parents when I was little. And it only takes like 20 minutes to go to the ferry and then 20 minutes on the ferry. So 40 minutes from Sweden. So we used to go there a lot and I used to go there a lot as a kid as well for trips and stuff. So I've been a lot, but I haven't been to Stockholm that much. I went last time, as you know, and then this time. And it was really cool to see like the countryside and the waters and uh, it was so cool to just relax and just be together again and it was so hard thinking about that I was going home and he was going back to Australia in like one and a half weeks and um, so I just tried to so I just tried to enjoy the moment as much as possible the last day we went back to Stockholm we had a sleep at his place and then I flew back to Denmark but it was such a good trip and it was really emotional to leave him in the airport because he's such a good friend of mine and it's just really weird that we're so far away from each other and we were used to just hang out like three times a week in Australia. I used to drive to his and we were hanging out all the time. So it's just so weird. But let me know in the comments if you have the same relationship to someone out there in the world. If you used to travel like me and you meet friends all over the world and you need to have really hard goodbyes but you're still lucky to see them sometimes. I love to share that feeling with someone because... Um, it's something that I struggle a lot with because I, f I meet people that I fall in love with and I meet people that I get really close friends with or um, just share a really great moment with so it's really hard for me to just let people go like that and sometimes you won't see them again and sometimes you will but it will take years um, in between your meetings. Thank Bye. you so much for watching, I hope you can relate and I hope you enjoyed my little story and my little clips from Stockholm. I'm really happy to have my drone now so I can get awesome clips. At the moment I'm in Iceland traveling and it's really exciting. It's so beautiful here. It's much colder than in Denmark which is a bit of a shame but I'm still really enjoying everything. I'm really into nature. This is nature with a big M so it's great but I'm leaving for America this Monday. I'm really excited for that so stay tuned here on my channel and if you liked it remember to hit the like button and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye!